And shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, our elders, GMS. Salutation, peace, and blessings, much blessings to the whole Philet, the children of Israel, the censored laborers and makeup people of Negro, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian descent. Okay. Israelite foreigners who have the spirit of an Israelite through their fathers. The Yahweh Yahshai spread it amongst the four corners of the earth, amongst the heathen nations, and it may look like the heathen nations. And you're awkward, the women that's humbling yourself as well to escape the pollutions of this world. Poll almost a third of Americans say the First Amendment goes too far. And the First Amendment is what? freedom of speech to being able to uh, assemble out there on those highways and the byways uh, to usher in the, uh, we're paving the way for our Lord Yahweh Shai to come deliver us up out of this place we're rising up the spirit we're rousing and in other ways and then we're rousing up spirits around this place and you know and pretty much the people are getting fed up with it you know, most importantly, the ones that um, should take heed to this word, should um, hearken unto the voice of the Lord, our power, and turn back to repentance. Those that matter are the majority that can care less, that have made themselves literally enemies to our Lord. You know, That's like the scripture says, they hated him long before they hated us. It doesn't say long, but. They hated him first before they hated us. Um, you know what? Let me get the scripture there. And it's ultimately it's the word, you know, these people are coming up against cause it's not it's not for them. You know, it's it, it's against them and their lifestyle. You know, it's against them in their heart. Um they should hate me. Hated me, it's hated me. Um, okay, John 7 and 7. If the world hate you, the world cannot hate you, but it, it but me it hated. And uh the one I'm looking for hated me first. Mm -hmm. John said, let me just jump into John 7 and 7. It's just a word, man. And this word is, again, uh, like, uh, you know, especially a lot of it's it's, it's, uh, it's pride and, and just straight up wickedness. You tell somebody they're doing wrong and, you know, they look at you like you got two heads. Like, who are you to tell me? But these people aren't spiritual in the least bit, and they can't they don't they can't understand that. You know, that we're coming in in in, in a form of uprightness, you know, trying to correct someone. You know, I was like the Lord, you, you know, the Proverbs, you know, Yahweh corrected those he loved. You know, and, and it's the way we're to treat brothers as well. You know, and as, and as brothers has to treat us. You know, it's, you know, you see a brother. Um, committing a, a adultery, man. You you get on his ass. You know that's a foul offense. You know, and 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 a and a sin punishable by death. I'm, I have to add. And that seems to be the stumbling block today's world. That adultery, man. It's, a nigga just can't get it in their mind that that's a wicked act until it happens to him and he's all butt hurt. Yeah, which I said unto them, my time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. All right, so hold on. So what I, I want to go in, just read a little of this because it speaks for itself. You know, a, a third. 
like the the sign we have that the pie sign we have where it shows the two thirds of our people are getting destroyed. All right. Almost a third of Americans say the first amendment goes too far. And then third is consists of a lot of Jakes. Maybe that chart is just speaking of what? <laughs> Edomites? Because they literally don't consider uh, Jake's a voice. Israelites a voice. Because oh, it's, uh, it's, it's more than that. You know? Because if you look at the division, the division is down there split down the middle in this place. So two thirds alone amongst our people is what? More than sixty six percent. It's around sixty six six percent. And you know damn well all the heathen uh, is heathens against us pushing this word, the truth of this word. Period. The message. But the, this uh, this amendment itself, you know, they're fed up with that assembly. That's you know, groups of people assembling on the streets. The survey also found that two thirds of respondents believe that America is on the wrong track. Two thirds. There we go. Two thirds was on the wrong track when it comes to free speech. They could be saying that uh, they're, they they just see it happen that they're gonna remove it. We'll see what it means. So, according to a new poll, because they say they claim they're with freedom of the speech, but all these people are mostly claiming concerned about, especially the Edomites, is what the, that that gun, their gun rights. All the rest, hell, do what you want with it is their attitude. As long as you get them niggas off the streets. And all they identifying it with is that foul um, organization, Black Lives Matter, when they tore up the streets and the black Hebrew Israelites, that's other than all, the, any of the rest, because they never rose up in, um, against like skinheads and the KKK. And things like that. But they're making their, you know, but their butts hurts over this. Uh, and they loop it loop, 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 loop together in one group. The black Hebrew Israelites and the truth prophets. And the black lives matter. They don't separate. They All they see is color. According to a new poll from the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, FIRE. A First Amendment organization, nearly a, a third of Americans, including similar numbers of Republicans and Democrats, say that the First Amendment goes too far in the rights it guarantees. So more than half agree that their local community should not allow a public speech that espouses a belief they find particularly offensive. So now that this uh, belief is out in the open, is out there on the streets, and it and it condemns them. Their nation and their and their um, and their works now you know, they seem to have a problem with it. You know it's it's offensive. You know the truth that the, the Edomites are the, the 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 devil that the Bible speaks of and that they're going into slavery. Ain't no way in hell they want to believe that that the Lord is a black man. Oh, oh, see this get, that's been pushed too much. That's how they thinking. Uh, we're, this this is going too damn far, and then the the, the evidence is becoming overwhelmingly um, convincing, and the, you know the truth itself is, uh, is is convicting the hell out of these devils to their faces. Uh, we gotta put an end to this. 
I was saying, where the hell they take surveys like this at? How do they know? You know, but they knew no. They speak to their loved ones. They speak into their friends. These universities take um, surveys. These universities, these small colleges, communities, colleges, and shit. Those results were disappointing, but not exactly surprising. So you know what? And but what my point of this is that what I see is uh, uh, um, uh, the same thing that happened with Yahweh Shai. The the, the ma uh, masses of the people, you know, rose up against him. You know, and to the point that even um, here, what we have here, even um, the devil. Uh, Pilot himself was overwhelmed by these by these demons, man. But when it, you know masses, and that's I see it happening. Masses, I can see it. Masses across this country of uh, niggas going to rise up against the prophets, man. You know. Masses, I can just see it. Masses. Yeah, so I looked up this here. So this is pretty much what we're in the we're seers. What are seers in ancient history? How did ancient people put predict the future? What is the purpose of a seer? Who can see who can see the future in Greek mythology? Goddamn Greek mythology. A seer is one who sees the spiritual eyes. A, a seer is one who sees with spiritual eyes. That's the only way you're going to see this. Um, these prophecies, man. And, and, and to speak on it. You know, you. Um, it's a spiritual thing. And though we're seeing it, the storm coming, we can, you know, as you like, as you can smell a storm coming, dark clouds, you can smell the air, the rain, you know, you can pretty much, oh, rain, it's about the rain. You know, also I quoted that about these hypocrite niggas too that can't see a damn thing, you know, they can't see the signs of the times. You know, but it, again, it's a spiritual thing. That the, the what does it say about the natural man can't receive it? Mm -hmm. But the natural man, First Corinthians two. I find myself going here a lot. Which things also we speak, slock it. 2 and 12 now we receive now we have reached first Corinthians 2 and 12 now we have received nor the not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of the most high and what's the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai the spirit of prophecy okay revelation that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high which things also we speak and I'll always just I run into someone that you know, I know they ain't the truth, not nor even looking for the truth, and they want to discuss. Man, I've been hanging. How you doing, man? You know, I got a, a car wash, or you know, uh, you know, my business is booming, and you know, but at you know, I, it's like a burnout conversation with me. I'm burnt out from having it, and then I'll actually speak. Man, you know, things is getting bad, huh? Just the uh, um. Invoke that thought in their mind, that conversation, or what to, or to stimulate that conversation, but they don't never grab. I say all the time, man, you, you know, things getting bad, huh? Things getting bad, huh? <laughs> trying, they're not trying to go there. So it says, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness, foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually spiritually discerned. You know? Psycho. <laughs> 
Strong's G5591. Suhikas. Suhikas. Okay. Which is the or renovative nature. And on the other form, 65446, which is the lower or bestial nature. These lawless people. Natural man. Yeah. Who doesn't govern themselves by uprightness and by the laws, statutes, and commandments by Yahweh, but Shem Shah, by his word. They don't govern themselves by his by his instructions. The natural man. So they find, I believe, they find particularly offensive. Those results are disappointing, but not exactly surprising. So Fire Chief Research Advisor John Stevens in a 2Z press note, press release here on Fire at Fire. We've long observed that many people who say they've concerned about free speech, waver when it comes to beliefs they personally find offensive, but the best way to protect your speech is the future is to defend the right to con controversial and offensive speech today. The survey which has conducted in partnership with, uh, with the polarization research asked 1,000 Americans about their opinions on free speech and expression. They find, they, the survey found that when it comes to whether people are able to freely express their views, over two-thirds of respondents said they believe America was headed in the wrong direction. Further, only 25% of respondents agreed that the right to free speech was very or completely secure. Okay, the survey also... Um, and the government best believe they're or probably more likely through their CIA, their um, people that are infiltrated the, uh, within groups of the you know the, the brothers or whatever. Uh, but um, they're working on the minds of the people, man. To uh, fed up with it, you know, it's the wrong thing. I had a video on YouTube. Uh, but I don't know what happened to it. It just vanished. I even went through my history, and it's not even there. Uh, but I wanted to add on for the add on to this video. But anyway, but here we go. Let me just here, let's go to it's Matthews, and you can see how. Here we go, Matthew 27, 24. And when Pilate saw that he could not, he could prevail nothing, but that or rather a tumult was made. He's not going to, he's, it's not, uh, it's not going to come, he's not going to come to that conclusion that he he can't prevail from having two or three niggas out there crying the blues. You know, it's gonna, it was a group multitudes. It was multitudes of them. And what Yahweh Shai going through, we're going to have to go through the same thing. A disturbance. G2360, a disturbance. A tumor, a uproar. So let's go back to the definition. A noise, tumor, uproar. Of persons wailing. Every clamorous, excited multitude. So a riot, a riot, riotous persons. You know, it's not singular persons and plural of two more as a breach of public order. So they about to they about to step their uh, their, their, their demonic thoughts up into the higher gear. These demons are about to go into a, a, a fourth gear, fifth gear, and they wicked ass spirits. Yeah, the devil comes to that clue. That, you know, uh, that this innocent brother, this innocent man. It's 
like I was looking for something. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. saw that he wasn't getting anywhere and that a riot was developing. A riot was developing. So the rioters who now are looters and you know so he went to a bowl of water and washed his hands before the crowd saying I am innocent of this man's blood the responsibility is yours. And all the people yelled back. We will take responsibility for his death. We and our children. It's the same with the prophets. Those high is about to tear these people apart, man. He's about to get these people, man. But first he wanted them to rise up with pride and anger and hatred and hypocrisy and once they have to rise up first so you can catch them in the act, so to speak. Mm. So this Isaiah 59, and let me read this real quick. It's ultimately what it is. Isaiah 59, 15, yea, truth faileth. He that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Absolutely no judgment. None, man. None. This is crazy. Scripture as I have. But let me go there. A serious one who sees with spiritual eyes, he perceives the meaning of that which seems obscure to others. He perceives the meaning of that which seems obscure, blocked to others. Therefore, he is a is an he is an interpreter and clarifier of eternal truth. He foresees the future from the past and the present. That's right. That's why they take polls like this. What was, what's the point? What would be the point? You know, so they got to have, they want the support of the people. That's the whole point. They want the support of the people. And so they come with their, uh, you know, with their uh, bullshit propaganda and their whatever lies they didn't, and, and, and uh, uh, um, facts they done uh, fabricated and, and then whatever uh, infiltrators and uh, prof uh, agent provocateurs they have to, you know, to help get things started. You know, they want to know, they want the confidence of the people. And if it might be in my Bible here. <clears throat> Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But it was a, it was a scripture I had. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Give the spirit. 
and give it deliver it back to me. But um Well, the second Ezra uh, might be 15. <clears throat> the same wicked spirit the same wickeds they're, they're all back today No, it still ain't coming up. It's like, let me go to 16. It might have, oh. And this vision is here in 15 and 16. It's powerful. You can I can never read it enough. Much about read, I should know exactly where it is, but yeah. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations their thoughts and their hearts. We spake but the word, let the earth be made, and it was the same Lord the heaven made, and it was created. And his word there were the stars made, and he knoweth the numbers of them. Oh, here we go. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Let's do our faith. And drunkenness. Scripture make it mention drunkenness. Look at that word. Now we're drunkard. I might have to get up and get my Bible.
Like as, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so what? Uh, do also and recompense in their bosom, thus said the Lord. Hold on. tongue no more is touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually and therefore said the Lord I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt but I will bring them in and hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and I would destroy the land thereof. Uh, look at that word drunken. in here a lot uh, quite a few times if thou has not always slain my chosen it was marked I don't know how I even missed it well I would jealousy have so proceeded against thee said the Lord if thou has not always slain my chosen so it's nothing new like the scripture says, nothing new under the sun. They rose up against Yahweh back then in great numbers. Going to do it again, even before that, and even after they crucified Yahweh Shai. The, the, the apostles were um, all slain in various different ways. I mean, slain and you know, like the apostles were murdered in different ways. So you know, the spirit, same spirit is going to be put on us. And like the scripture said, we're going to meditate evil. You know, if thou has not always slain my chosen, exalting the stroke of thy hands and saying over their dead when thou was drunken. Mm. They're just setting up the, 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 you know, they're just setting up the vibe, the. Behold, the days come, said the Lord power. God will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So we're seeing, we're just from these precepts, we're, we're seeing what's coming. I'm trying to explain it to you. The, 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 the prophets and the apostles and elders, brethren, Akim, trying to explain it to the world, you know. And all this is ultimately going to come together in one time. It's, self, it's like um or an orchestrated chaos, uh, you know, they're bringing in so they can come with the actual order itself. So they're orchestrating this, you know, the world to be, the Babylon to be destabled into the, and madness is like defunding the police, you know, the, having the police back down, stand down. So the looters and all these rioters can, so the time's coming where the devil's going to release the cracking on these fools, man. I wish I can find it. I wish I can find it, but it's okay.
Let me see. What's let me see. Let me go to shit hits the fan. I'm just reading these just show you the world ain't shit and Babylon ain't shit. You know. When the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. This is exactly when you're going through this. This is all you read. The people mourn and the world mourn. The earth languishes and fades away. Why are being there selling off stocks and building massive survival bunkers? A survival bunker for what? Okay. Mass chaos, man. Destruction. I'm keeping an eye on Texas nuclear bomb plant sus suspended operation due to wildfire. I want to keep our eyes on that and pray for the document the document that's actually the prophets that's there prophesying. You know, that live in Texas. They are creating incredibly bizarre new technologies for the dystopian world of the future. Look at that, Americans increasingly use buy now, pay later for necessities like credit, like groceries, fall apart. Man. <laughs> These places. You saw hurting these devils where it hurt the most, their pocket. And I made a video on the highway robbery continues to be the law of the land. No. Mm. Yeah, lots happening. I'm gonna lay the groundwork for US media to become a government controlled propaganda tool. The bomber, they got a bomber, the bomber. That ham, I can't get no rest. <laughs> can't get no rest. <laughs> the ham, I was just a damn tool himself. So let me see if I find that script wrong one. Hosea 4 and 1, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. No truth, no truth. Second answer is again, I was thinking of. It's like two. Uh -oh.
Ecclesiastes 1 and 30, Exalt not thyself, lest thy fall and bring dishonor upon thy soul, and so the most high discover thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregants, because thou camest not in truth to fear, to the fear of the Lord, but the, thy heart is full of deceit. Mm. It's like it should have worried Ecclesiastes 1 and 30, 29 for us, be not an hypocrite in the sight of men. And take good heed mm -hmm. with thou saw that's awesome what Babylon is doing. It's been a hypocrite in the sight of the world. It wants claiming one peace, but it wants war. You know? So you want and you see why this place is gonna get judged so harshly and get or be burned by fire. Burned by fire. Ooh, four and twenty-five. In no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thy ignorance. See, we can read these precepts, and we can see why this place is going to burn. Stalking for just letting this drag on, but it's, like I said, it's what I do for my spirit. And to further continue on, just the server also asked respondents to read a dozen controversial statements and pick the only one they found most offense, the most disbelief. Dislike beliefs were that all whites are racist oppressors. <laughs> they, they don't want to hear this truth, you know, so they want to erase history. And you've seen that happen. You know, they're literally trying to erase history out of the, the, the textbooks <coughs> that have been taught in schools. <coughs> and not all are. But the biblical Edomites are. And that's what we do using the Bible by showing you that this devil is a, it's an oppressor, you know, and, and he's going to be judged in Revelation 9 and 13. Mm -hmm. Followed by statements like America got what it deserved on 9-11. No, that was also another well-orchestrated uh, uh, act. Uh, a false flag in January 6th was a peaceful protest, and they're embarrassed by that January 6th. America is. The Edomites, it's Americans, they're embarrassed. The survey then asked respondents whether they agree with allowing this opinion to be expressed in different circumstances. Half of the respondents said that their community definitely or probably should not permit a public speech expressing the opinion they found most offensive. So as long as you just lie and get false messages they're they they're fine with that a whopping 69 percent said a local college should definitely or probably not allow a professor who holds such an opinion to teach there wow a hypocrite a hypocrite a critical nation man hypocrisy is liberty <laughs> over a quarter of respondents said that someone who previously said the offensive opinion should be fired from their job mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You see, these people are just evil, man. It's just way of life being a professor and teaching. <coughs> Though it's neither not in the least bit teaching the truth. That's that's still that man's way of life to teach whatever history and whatever. These people are heartless. These results indicate that though the average American is concerned about protecting free speech rights. A significant portion of the population seems poised to welcome increasing censorship. And it's coming. It's coming. Or they're going to use this speech, or this, this truth against us. 
The average American already thinks that free speech in America is in dire straits, but worryingly they think it will get worse, says Stevens. These findings should be a wake-up call for the nation to recommit to a vibrant free speech culture before it's too late. <laughs> yeah. So it's coming. So, Solomon.